Hello everyone, Reefer Gill here. Since the tank is still cycling, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to take this time to show you guys how to test for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrates. For my ammonia, ammonia I'm using the Salifer test kit here. It comes with the reagent, the color chart, instructions. It comes with a syringe for two mils, a syringe for one mil, and this little mixing container here, and it's top. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I got some display water from the aquarium in this little paper cup. And it calls for two mils of sample water. So we're going to take our two mil syringe. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up to the bottom of the plunger so it lines up with that number two. And the number two is upside down. It's just how it's made. And then you put two mils into your mixing container here the whole thing. Then you take your reagent, you take your one mil syringe and you do the same thing, just pull it up nice and slow so you don't get air in there. And the bottom of the plunger once again will line up with the line where the number one is. And you can go ahead and put 0.5 mils in. And then you're going to put your cap on if you want. I do because I tend to get a little crazy. I'm going to put the cap on here so I don't spill it. Put that to the side. And go ahead and mix this for 30 seconds. Okay, so that's been 30 seconds. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish off the rest of the 0.5 reagent. And now we're just going to mix it for 10 seconds. Right, that mix for 10 seconds off camera. And now what we want to do is let this sit for three minutes. So we're going to let it sit for three minutes and then compare the color of the liquid inside the container with the color on the chart. Now the thing with these color, color charts is they're easy to use, but they're very difficult to read. So here you can see it's very difficult to see what the difference is between 0.15 and less than 0.15. They're almost the same. While 0.25 does have a cream color tint to it, we're looking at more of a cloudy color here. So I'm gonna call this less than 1.5. I've already seen the ammonia spike to 1.0 in this yellow area, we're day 12 of the cycle. So it is coming down, and after this, we'll go ahead and record our findings. Okay, so I'm going to do this after each test. Go to my apex and hit this little beacon symbol, which will bring me to, it should be bringing me to test results here. That's the nitrite. Because there's ammonia, so we're going to hit the plus symbol to add in the new test. And we're going to call that last test 0 0.10. Guesstimation, right? And you can see here on this little chart how the uh, ammonia had spiked. Let's see if I could do all. You can see the spike, one, and it's dropping down to eventually zero. The test I'm going to do is the nitrite, and I'm going to use this API test kit. Inside the test kit, you get your reagent, you get a beaker, instructions, and a color chart. The color chart also has instructions on the back of it. Okay, just like last time, I'm gonna go ahead and take my sample water and I'm gonna use that same syringe that I got out of the ammonia package for this here. You can try dipping this into your aquarium, but most of the time you're trying to fight to get the water exactly to that line is very difficult. It's much easier using a, a syringe. Although this only holds two mils of water, go ahead and fill it up a couple of times and shoot the water into that beaker. That's almost there, a couple more drops. Okay, that's exactly to that line. So that's five mils of sample water in here. Next thing you do is you take your reagent and this calls for five drops, one, Two, three, four, five.
And this one you just shake for about five to 10 seconds. And then what we're gonna do here is let this sit for five minutes. So we'll come back in five minutes and see if that color has changed. So it's actually pretty cool that I'm recording this now because for the first time since the cycle, my nitrites are reading zero. You can see that's a pretty clear zero reading there. There's no mistaking the fact that I have zero nitrites with this color chart. The ammonia may actually be zero also. It's very difficult to read the ammonia once it's down so low. The water looks a little cloudy. I don't see any yellowing in the water. So the ammonia may in fact be zero as well. I'm gonna go ahead and let the tank sit for a few more days, do a little bit more testing on the ammonia and nitrite. If it continues reading zero, then I'll go ahead and do my first 50 gallon water change and get rid of the nitrates that are in there, which we'll test next. Okay, here are my previous tests for the nitrites. You can see the spike and now gradually coming down. And for the first time since the cycle started, I'm gonna go ahead and put zero in there for nitrites. Again, I'll test for the next couple of days to make sure that this stays down to zero before doing that water change. So here's a kit, test kit for the nitrates. I'll be using the API for this test here. Inside it, you get two reagents. You get a bottle one and a bottle two. Both call for 10 drops of each reagent into the test vial here. You have your color chart, and on the back of the color chart, you have instructions. Okay, I'm gonna reach over here, get my sample water, that same syringe. And this also calls for five milliliters of test water. We're gonna take our bottle number one and put 10 drops into our test vial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And we just need to mix that up a little bit. Next thing we need to do is take our bottle number two and mix this for 30 seconds. Okay, that's been 30 seconds. Ten drops of bottle number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to mix this up for one minute. And by the way, when you're mixing these vials, Make sure to put the cap on. Don't use your finger because whatever's on your finger can ruin, ruin the test results. If there's contamination of any sort on your finger, it may give you a wrong reading. And also you don't want the tips of your fingers turning yellow or whatever color this liquid is. So put the cap on and just shake it around. You do get a little bit of the liquid spilling out, but it's not a big deal. Okay, after you've mixed it, then you're gonna let it sit for five minutes. So we'll go ahead and do that off camera, come back to it, see what color it is. Okay, this is actually really cool. Once again, the nitrates are also showing a huge decline from where they used to be. I'm gonna call this somewhere between five and 10 ppm of nitrates. Again, declining because they were at hovering between 40 and 80 a couple of days ago awesome sign that the cycle is in its final stages of being complete. Okay, I'm at the apex once again for the nitrate, and I'm gonna go ahead and call that, I'll say 10 for now, because it really doesn't let me go in uh, any more detail than that. Okay, and there you can see the drop. That'll do it for this video. That video was obviously geared for the people that are brand new in the hobby or are thinking about getting into the hobby. Just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to test for ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates. Those test results actually show that my tank might be finished with the cycle we will see in a couple of days. If so, my clownfish are coming back home. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscription button. If you enjoyed this video, 
hit that like button, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. Thanks for watching. <laughs>